Hi, I'm Jerry Botte, the director of SEER, the Center for Electrochemical Engineering Research at Ohio University. And today, I'd like to welcome you and to invite you to come with me and to learn more about SEER. SEER is a state-of-the-art facility funded with support from Ohio University, the Ohio Third Frontier Program, and also from federal sources. We have world-class engineers and scientists which are working on developing alternative ways to produce fuels, petrochemicals, from different sources, feedstocks, and waste, utilizing our concept of electrons to fuels. That I think uh, Dr. Bate and the faculty in SEER are really on the cutting edge of what I believe uh, is that next generation of uh, fuel sources, is that next generation of uh, people in the academy uh, who are going to be known for their major contributions to developing alternative sources of, uh, of energy. We really do think that we have world-class expertise in, in the area of uh, alternative energy, for example, and, and a couple of others, but, but SEER really fits in the alternative energy uh, world. Dr. Bate had a very interesting idea, which is to take, uh, and it was really a vision of taking wastewater, for example, from, from various sources, going to that ammonia phase, and then going to getting hydrogen, and then using the hydrogen for something, uh, and making that all economically viable. And she's certainly done that. At here we have frontier research. That means that we are in-house going all the scale from able to manipulate electrons and designing materials in a computer up to developing real-life applications. In the case of the center, I think that uh, development there of many different uh, systems uh, it's already on the level to be patented and uh, it indicates that it will have probably some significant ap real application in the real world, which is, which is the final goal. And, and that's really where, where my vision is, is that we're actually going to generate uh, ideas that can then be turned into products that are socially and environmentally responsible. And oh, by the way, make some money. <laughs> We believe certainly in what we call hands-on education. So basically, we educate graduate students. Uh, of course, we attract a lot of undergraduate students into our research, but simultaneously, we don't forget about the next generation. One of the things that we love the most at SEER is how our graduate students, postdocs, research engineers all try to participate in attracting little kids into science and technology. But I'll talk a little bit about Dr. Bonte. She's inspiring to students around her, both at the undergraduate and the graduate level. She can inspire other faculty. So it builds upon itself. So Jerry is fantastic. And, and I don't mean that just in terms of her professional achievements, which are significant. She has what seems to be boundless energy. And that has been very good for me. I'm older in my career than she is. I mean, you achieve a certain level of success and you might coast for a while. There's no coasting with her. She does not coast, all right? She seems to be able to work what seems like 24 hours a day. I don't know, does she ever sleep? <laughs>
one of the most important missions at SEER is economic development. Our mission is that things that are innovative, that we create, that are unique, how do we contribute to bring that to the real world, solve a problem, and also generate jobs to the creation of companies uh, with, that will grow and, of course, provide economic development in the region. We are collaborating with our wastewater treatment facility in Athens, Ohio, to have a site or for a demonstration and prove the technology uh, to the real world. The septic would go into either a holding tank or directly into the waste stream and then come into the plant. The technology has to go in this direction uh, and development of these energy sources is extremely important for, for the state, for the country, for the world. The Institute has a very bright future and SEER is going to play a huge role in it, there's no doubt in my mind. I'm really excited um, to see how uh, she is she's progressing and hopefully that's going to bring some fruition for the university, for her own rewards, and also create the job uh, around here, and, you know, and also for the societal benefit. The college has taken on a huge responsibility, and they're beginning to deliver on the investments that have been made uh, in a very, very positive way. The interest that has been expressed by outside companies in her work in the Department of Energy and the Department of Defense it really says it all. That's the best peer review you can get. Once you've gone from an idea to a product and that product actually uh, is used, uh, from an engineer's point of view, that's success. So this is a really exciting time and um, I look at those investments as an investment in a better future uh, for the people that live in our region and in our nation and in our world. Today.